Well, the, the whole reason why I wanted to do this was because, I mean, I felt, I was feeling pretty, pretty bad. I was having this weird existential crisis. And so, like, it was like 11 o'clock at night or something mm -hmm. when the idea hit me. I was like, I need to just drive. I need to drive anywhere. I don't want to be in my house anymore. So, uh, that's when I called you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And I was like, yo, Naren, you want to you wanna drive? You want to go up north, maybe? Or anywhere, anywhere else? Yeah. And I remember I was downtown, a little tipsy. And I get this call <laughs> from Aiden. And honestly, I was like, oh, it's Aiden. I want to hang out with my bud. So when he asked me for this, to do this crazy thing, honestly, I, I was feeling a little... Um, trapped in my house also I kind of wanted I couldn't see myself staying at home for that much longer so whenever you offered me this idea I was like let's go probably one of the most spontaneous things you could do yeah just get in the car let's drive as far as we can not knowing where we're going to sleep every night not thinking about it even too much mm -hmm. until nighttime came exactly I think that's also a really cool thing because we didn't have any expectations for the trip mm -hmm. so can't go bad when you don't have any expectations that, right that's true that's true <laughs> we had like, like zero expectations oh and then we had a couple of rules for the trip that we were that i would suggest mm. which is one you see anything cool on the side of the road you stop mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then one of the other rules is don't talk about what we're gonna do tomorrow mm -hmm. focus on like that day mm, so every yeah. morning we would wake up it was like an untold rule kind of but we would never really worry about tomorrow. Yeah, because, yeah, I think that was one of the points that we kind of were trying to get. Like, like live live in that, that moment that you're in. Stop worrying about the next day. Stop trying to plan stuff out um, and just kind of go with it. Like Yeah, and I think that was one of the things I learned on the trip, too. Because there's been times I was, like, a little uncomfortable. And I felt like, I don't know. Like, what am I doing here? Like, what is this place? But then if I just took it back and I'm like, all right, I'm in this place, just observe it and just be thankful that I'm here, mm -hmm. you know? Then your attitude kind of shifts and then you start to appreciate the place and you feel good about it. Yeah, I think that's what I wanted to accomplish. Like, like truly living in, in the moment, like day to day. Mm. Like, wherever we're at, you know, try to relax. Mm. Try to focus on, you know, hanging out with, with my buddy and, you know, doing some stupid shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We could go to some, like, really stupid place uh -huh. that honestly isn't that cool, uh -huh. not super aesthetically pleasing like all these other travel vloggers, yeah. but yeah. we could be in the grocery store, like, having a good time. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you think you were able to get out of that stress state, that existential crisis state, by going on this road trip? Yeah, I think, I think it helped a bit. Some nights were a little harder than others. Mm -hmm. Some nights it, it came back. How did you handle it when it came back? I mean, again, I would just focus on what I was doing, you know, focus on my breath maybe. Mm -hmm. Or um, there's this one thing that I do where it's like, you think about what your next thought is going to be, mm. and it kind of stops your mind from thinking, from yeah. overthinking. Yeah. So you're just like, what is my next thought going to be? And then you're like, well... What is my next talk going to be? And then that's like all I'm thinking about. I was like, I don't know. I can't think of anything. Yeah. <laughs> and that that helps me a bit. Um, or just cracking jokes with you yeah. helps me too. If I'm a little stressed, like make making fun of whatever we're looking at. <laughs> or like, you know, just like the dumbest jokes. Yeah. <laughs> I hit him with a cheesy quote about life. When life, what, shoot for the moon and you'll hit the stars. If life hits you, hit life harder <laughs> <laughs> fuck life up just fuck it up bro <laughs> I hate that quote so much shoot for the moon even if you land or even if you miss you land around the stars where's the closest star to the moon <laughs> still pretty fucking far come on now you're not near any star the moon is so close to the earth the next star over if you're not counting the sun is like fucking like light years away like if a lot of light years if you shoot for the star you land on the moon you done fucked up <laughs> You didn't even get close you to the star, bitch. bitch. You know how far you were? <laughs> Do you know how far you were? Oh, shit. Your original goal was so way away. Stupid. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, well, I guess we'll end it there. <laughs> thanks for listening. Yeah, thanks for listening. We interrupt our program to bring you a word from our sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next steps in their creative journey. Personally, I've been using Skillshare a lot for creative inspiration. Whenever I'm feeling uninspired, I like to try and learn a new creative skill. Recently, I've been taking a couple different drawing classes, which has inspired me to go out and buy a sketchbook and pick up drawing again. Wow, now that's epic. I may not be the best at drawing, but I'm still learning, and that's why Skillshare has been so great for me. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and more. Now it's time to do that thing you've always wanted to do. The first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will get two free months of Skillshare Premium, so sign up today. And thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video.